problem 4.25. In this problem, we would like to measure the temperature of a surface by using a thermocouple device. This thermocouple device has a manipulator with a given temperature, two wires in which the length and the diameter is given, as well as the materials, and a thermocouple bead. The thermocouple temperature is uh, provided, as well as the distance between the bead and the surface. This problem is taken to be two-dimensional. We are neglecting the effect of convection and radiation. We assume all the properties are constant. We assume it to be steady. And we also have that the thermocouple temperature, the, thermo the manipulator temperature, as well as the surface temperature are uniform throughout. If we do a balance of energy around the thermocouple bead, we're going to see that the conduction that takes place due to the air from the surface into the bead has to be equal to the conduction that is taken from the bead uh, through uh, wire number one and the conduction from the bead through wire number two. Since the conduction through the air is going to be a two-dimensional conduction, is going to be evaluated using the shape factor. We are going to do S, K of the air, the temperature of the surface, minus the temperature of the bead. The conduction that takes place in the wire is going to be K of the material, area of the wire, the difference of the temperatures between the thermocouple and the manipulator divided by the distance between them. And we do the same process for the other wire. The area. By the length of the wire. In order to evaluate the conduction between the bead and the surface, we refer to table 4.1, since this is a two-dimensional case. We're going to obtain the uh, shape factor from case number one. Notice that the information is provided. We know the diameter of the bead. We know the distance between the bead and the surface. And we know the temperature of the thermocouple. What we're looking for is the temperature of the surface. When we replace all these quantities into this function, we're going to be able to find that the temperature of the surface is equal to the thermocouple temperature plus the value that are given for the first wire, the thermocouple temperature, as many, the information from the second wire. thermocouple. All of this is divided by the shape and the conductivity of the air. If we plug in all the known values and solve for Ts, we can find out that the temperature of the surface is equal to 45.2 Celsius. Please go back and be able to substitute into this equation and get the same results.